Go ahead. Today's video sponsor is GGG where using my SKG discount code leads to a 25% off across several products, making a Windows 10 serial key only $16. After the payment, you'll receive the key in your account and all you need to do is to introduce it in your Windows settings and BAM! You have an activated system. Hello guys, it's Shitkin Plays, I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome to my channel. So as for today's video, we have a bipolar driver. Not the bipolar driver review, which is something new to implement, maybe cool, but instead a bipolar driver in terms of performance. And well, today's video is about the 22.9.1 driver, Adrenaline Edition, and as I say in all my videos, 22 is the year, 2022, 9 is the month, September, and 1 is the revision in that same month, so the first revision of September. Of Sept Sept uh, by the way, we still are on the 22.5.1 in terms of recommended drivers. We have a WHQL signed driver over that, which is a 22.6.1, but still, it is almost six months over the, um, the 22.6.1 and we still don't have any other WHQL signed driver and more than six months over the 22.5.1 and AMD is not releasing, is still not releasing a new recommended driver. That means that the new drivers don't actually pass their quality tests in order to become recommended. Um, and that just means that for the majority of cards, well, the 22.5.1 is still the best drivers, the best driver available. Um, for some drivers for the RX 6000 series cards, for, exa for example, the 22.8.2 is an awesome driver, the same for the RX 5000 series, but in some scenarios, like for example the RX 500 cards, some of them, previous drivers are better, or once again, the 22.5.1, and that's why the 22.5.1 is the recommended, and that's why we don't have recommended drivers. Uh, over that, which is annoying and quite disappointing. But let's start with the release notes. We have support for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 open beta, and we only have just one fixed issue, which is enhanced sync may cause an intermittent black screen to occur during gameplay and video playback using extended displays and toggling enhanced sync. The meme is fixed! The meme is supposedly fixed. <laughs> this is a driver occurring for a longer period than my hair length. When I started letting the, the hair grow, this was still a, this was already a problem, and now finally on the 22.9.1 drivers, they give this problem, they put this problem as fixed. This was a problem that was just happening for some people, not all people, but it seems to be fixed. As for the known issues, we have Radeon Super Resolution may fail to trigger after changing resolution or HDR settings on games such as NIO 2. Oculus Dashboard menu and rendered controllers may appear bouncing slash wobbly on Oculus Quest 2 with some AMD graphics products such as the Radeon RX 6800 XT graphics. GPU utilization may be stuck at 100% in Radeon performance metrics after closing on after closing games, sorry, on some AMD graphics products such as the Radeon 570. So, so far, all these known issues are known issues for quite some time and they aren't getting fixed. Once again, quite sad. While previewing the timeline in Vegas Pro, some colors may appear inverted, something that should be already fixed. Display may briefly show corruption when switching between video and game windows on some AMD graphics products such as the Radeon RX 6700 XT. When vertical refresh sync is set globally to always off, system stuttering or driver timeout may occur during video playback using RX 6000 series GPU. So now this is a new one. So basically, if you select vertical refresh sync on the global settings to off, you may actually have um, driver timeouts and stutters du during video playback. What the? 
Users may encounter dropped frames during video playback using hardware acceleration in browsers on Radeon RX 6000 series GPUs. Yes, this is something that happens on Mozilla Firefox as soon as you go over 1080p and sincerely is quite annoying. Also AMD removed the stuttering problem with the 6900 XT on the Warzone Caldera map, but they removed it from the known issues and they did not add it on the fixed issues. But they have on the important notes um, in, on the bottom of the page saying AMD is working with game developers of Call of Duty Warzone to resolve an issue where users may be experiencing stuttering on the Caldera map. So they are working on it, they just didn't remove it for people to forget about it, no, they removed it because they have it on the important notes saying that they are working to fix it, which is very important. And another very important thing is my experience with these drivers. Okay, let's start with um, with all cards. No black screens, no blue screens, everything is working stable and perfectly fine. But, like I told you in the beginning of the video and on the thumbnail as well, these drivers are kind of bipolar. And I'll tell you why. Because on the RX 6000 series, okay, they work perfectly fine, the FPS are basically the same, like the 6650 XT that you'll see in the video, it works perfectly perfectly fine, sorry. But on the RX 5000 series, like the 5700 XT that you'll see in the video as well in some minutes, you have actually less FPS both on PUBG and Forza Horizon 5, which are the two games that I tested, and I'm pretty sure that if Forza Horizon 5 has lower performance, it will also have lower performance in every GPU-bound game, okay? So that's bad because we have CPU-bound games performing worse and GPU-bound games performing worse also on the 5700 XT using the 22.9.1. So if you're using an RX 5000 series, I advise you to keep the 22.8.2 drivers because in my opinion, they're pretty good for what they are, okay? They have the X11 optimizations, they have OpenGL optimizations, stuttering has been decreased by a lot in terms of those same DX11 optimizations and OpenGL optimizations, okay? Not that the X11 optimizations are not as good as the, uh, as on the RX 6000 series, of course, but they are still there, a, a slight improvement, okay? And 22.8.2 drivers are working perfectly, in my opinion, and in my experience. I believe it was after the 22.7.1 that when I installed the drivers on the RX 5000 series, they don't actually automatically open as they should. So I have to go to the taskbar and force open the software. After I force open it for the first time, every time I reboot the computer and so on, it will open flawlessly. But that first time I have to force start it, which makes no sense because on the 5700 XT, I did not need to do it. It just started automatically, flawlessly as it should. So it's a thing of these drivers. But overall, that's it. Less FPS on the 5000 series, same FPS on the 6000 series. But overall, keep the 22.8.2 drivers. That's my opinion and that's my advice. If you are having stutters, heavy stutters with the X11 optimizations or with a, with a, um, OpenGL optimizations, go for the recommended drivers, which are the 22.5.1. If you just want the X11 improvements, but you don't want the OpenGL improvements, go for the 22.6.1 because it includes the, the X11 imp improvements, but it does not include the OpenGL improvements because those came with the 22.7.1 drivers, okay? So overall, 22.8.2. For the best stability available, go for the Pro Drivers or the 22.5.1. That's my opinion based on my experience. And well guys, that's all for today's video. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe and share this video because that really helps the channel a lot. And yeah, bipolar drivers, equal in some, slower in others. So if you have a 5700 XT, do not use these drivers. Let's watch the comparisons and... See you in the next video.